I rise to request that the California State Assembly adjourn in the memory of my friend, 8024 resident Bill Bussey. Born in Prescott, Arizona in 1927, Bill graduated high school in 1945, near the end of World War II, and immediately joined the US Navy. He was sent to USC for two years to train as a pilot, and it was there that he met his future wife, Barbara. After serving as a jet fighter pilot in both World War II and the Korean War, he and Barbara planned to head back to USC where Bill would finish his college degree. However, they stopped in Palo Alto to visit Barbara's sister, and they never left. Bill and Barbara decided to stay in Palo Alto, and Bill attended Stanford University, earning bachelor's and master's degrees in architecture. Bill went on to design many well-known buildings on Stanford campus and in Palo Alto, including the downtown Palo Alto Library and the Lucy Evans Baylands Nature Interpretive Center. But his favorite was the Treseder Memorial Union Building, a main campus hangout for students. As accomplished as he was in his career, Bill was even busier in retirement. He has served on the Palo Alto Housing Commission as Vice President of Environmental Affairs for the Palo Alto Chamber of Commerce, as President of the Palo Alto YMCA Board of Directors, and as President of the Rotary Club, where he was active well into his 90s. In 2016, Bill received the prestigious Avenidas Lifetime of Achievement Award. While Bill and Barbara traveled all over the world, both for work and pleasure, their sweetest endeavor was hosting an annual peach ice cream social for their professor Professorville neighborhood. In an article about his Lifetime Achievement Award, Bill said, I'm proudest of my family, of course. He said, we have great kids, great grandkids, and great great grandkids. I can attest to that. One of Bill's granddaughters, Becca, is one of my best friends. And in fact, Becca has no idea I'm doing this right now, but randomly 10 minutes ago texted me a screenshot that Bill had captured on a camcorder of me and Becca back in high school that she just randomly texted me 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. Uh, it was through Becca that I first met Bill and Barbara when I was in high school, and, would go on to affect and I would go on to affectionately refer to Barbara as grandma, which she always got a kick out of. Eventually, my grandparents would move into the same small retirement community that Bill and Barbara lived in. I wasn't surprised at all to learn that Bill had become the unofficial social chair of the community. Whenever I had dinner with my grandparents there, Bill would always stop by our table to visit. And after my grandparents passed away, I went back a few times to have dinner with Bill, Barbara, and their kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. Bill is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met and was renowned for his unending optimism. He is survived by his wife, Barbara, his kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. I will truly miss randomly bumping into him around town and request that the assembly adjourn in his memory.